Right, as you know, I normally do fun videos on this channel, not today, not on this video. This is a serious one. This is regarding the Whirlpool washing machine recall, and I've been affected myself. I've been affected myself. And before we get into it, and I'll show you my washing machine, etc., I'll put a list on the screen now. It's important that you check your washing machine. If you have a hot point or an indesit washing machine, purchase, they are saying purchase between 2014, I believe, and 2018, but just check your washing machine anyway. That list on the screen. Just stop this video now, have a look at that list, check your washing machine. Check a relative's washing machine as well. If you've got an elderly neighbor, etc., check their washing machine. It's always best to be safety first. Safety first, so that's the list there. If you are affected, if you are affected by this recall, you need to contact, you need to contact Whirlpool. You need to contact Whirlpool. This is what the website looks like. So this is Whirlpool's website. If you can get through, it's very busy. At the time of filming this, the website is extremely busy. Apparently there's over half a million UK homes that have bought this washing machine that are affected by this massive recall from Whirlpool. So that's that's on screen now. So on this um, on their website, when you can get through, you put your postcode in and then you've got a drop down list and then you find your, your model number, your serial number of your washing machine and then you go to the next stage and you register and they are giving you two options here. They're giving you two options. You can have a like for like replacement or they can send an engineer out to repair it. The issue may be is it might take a few months and we don't need this on top of Christmas. It might take a few months to get your new washing machine or an engineer coming out to replace it. That's that's a bit of an issue. No one needs this on top of Christmas. I don't, I've got a busy household. We've got kids, well, my kids are older, but you know what I'm saying. We've got a busy household. Our washing machine on is on twice a day, so friends and relatives, you're gonna be washing my clothing, all this house clothing, for a little while. They do say, well, Paul, do say themselves, you can use the washing machine at like 20 degrees, the really cold washes. I'll advise, just unplugging it. It's best not risking it for a biscuit. Just unplug it, this issue, that they're saying it's like with a door latch, the door mechanism, you know when your washing machine stops and it waits a little while when it beeps and the door opens, the mechanism inside that is faulty and uh, can catch fire, it can catch fire. It's not, a, it's not a Mickey Mouse issue, this is a serious issue, we don't want no house fires. I know, not from first hand experience, but I do know how quick fires, if you've never seen how quick a fire can take off and go, Watch some videos on that because it's scary. How quick a little fire can start and then go into a full house fire. It's, it's, it's really scary. So my advice is, and I know we don't want to read this, over the Christmas period especially, unplug your washing machine, ask friends, families, neighbours to wash your to wash your clothing. It's the best way to go. Contact Whirlpool. Like I say, the phone number will be on screen again. Contact Whirlpool if you can get through, but just keep trying. If not, maybe give it till tomorrow, whenever you're watching this video. Just just keep trying. Go to or go to their website and, and follow the steps like you saw on screen. I would advise that you contact them through mobile, uh, through uh, the phone line. I think it was it's a better way to speak to someone, etc. And I would also advise you don't want no repairman coming out to to replace this part. I would advise just go for a straight like for like swap that they are saying it's going to be free. You're going to get a brand new washing machine. Like for like, make sure as well that they do give you the like for like. If you've got, I don't know, a nine kilo drum, you don't want no five kilo drum turning up. You want a like for like replacement. Keep on at them, keep badgering them. Go to Witch, Witch do quite a good uh, Twitter. Hopefully Val's shared this on Witch's Twitter site because they, they, they've got a lot of good advice there. Go to all them advice, websites, etc., Twitter links, all them sort of things. If, if you're getting, if they're trying to say to you, nope, you're, you're getting a smaller drum, anything like that, any little, no, you need to keep badgering them. You want a like for like, keep badgering them into getting what you've purchased for to start. So we're gonna go down there. I'm gonna show you my washing machine. I'm gonna show you how to check the serial code. So the serial code is on the door. So you open the door, there's a bit of sticker there, um, and that's your serial number. The problem is where that serial number is seated, situate, situated, on the washing machine, it can get a little bit wet there. It's, it's almost inside the door. It can get wet if you've had it a few years. That could have worn off. There is another um, serial number that's at the back of the washing machine. So if that's worn off, you're gonna have to pull the, it's an asshole, we know, but you're gonna have to pull the washing machine out, check the back of the washing machine, and there will be another serial number on the back of the washing machine. I'm gonna show you my washing machine. That is on the affected list. I am affected at this time of recording this. I haven't been able to get in touch with Whirlpool yet. I will be trying them tomorrow. I'll be trying the website uh, later this evening because it's quite late now. And we'll go from there. 
see if we can get our like for like replacements. Hopefully it's quicker. Hopefully they do this in the first two weeks of January where we don't have to work, wait to February, March, because it's like I said, there's half a million homes affected. We don't want to wait six, seven months for a washing machine. We need to keep badgering on to Whirlpool. Hopefully, like I said, Val shared this to all the relevant news sources. Let's go and have a look at that washing machine. And like I say, a bit of a serious video, no fun in this video. I'll show you the serial number on my one and and you can check it as well. My one's definitely on the list. I've checked it three times. That's a serious one from us. I'll show you the washing machine and then we'll see you on the next video. Everyone take care of yourself. Remember the most important thing is if you've got an elderly neighbor maybe, an elderly relative or just a relative or a friend, tell them to check their washing machine. If they don't know what to do, go and be a helping friend and check theirs for them. I'll see you on the next video. The serial number, it's in here. This is gonna be your serial number right there. If that has worn off, like mine has a little bit, you can check it around the back of the washing machine. And the issue is, this part here on the washing machine could malfunction, overheat, etc. So that's the serial number there. That's the malfunction part right there. That links in with this part.